Welcome back everyone to another Exhaust Sports Auto Review. My name is Kevin and today we are doing a review on the C300 Mercedes-Benz 4MATIC and special thanks to Mercedes-Benz of Durham for supplying this car for me. They've been so nice to work with. Everybody here, every single human being inside of that building is so kind, they're so hospitable. And I just want to thank everyone there, all the salespeople, the general managers, the marketing director, everybody there has been super kind to me. And you would think, you know, Mercedes Benz are going to be a little bit bougie, but no, they're not. They're actually super nice, super kind to me. And really, I really recommend uh, coming here for a new car if you're in the car market because they will get you together with all the good deals and they're just going to treat you right. So I really do thank Mercedes Benz of Durham and South Point for hooking me up with all these nice cars and today I'm pleased to give you guys a review on this beautiful car right here. Okay so this is the 2018 C300 for Matic sedan and this is the non AMG or sport trim level car so as you can tell by the rims but I just want to start off with the exterior of this car even though it doesn't have the sport AMG trim on it it still has a pretty aggressive front fascia to it it's got the wide openings for the uh, the grills here at the bottom uh, they are closed in but they do still look good the grill itself also looks very nice it's got a pretty mean menacing look to it especially in this black color so I really do enjoy that now the wheels like I said I'm not the huge I'm not the biggest fan of it but they do they are still alloys they do look all right obviously the uh, the sport trim level will get you better looking rims but this should ride a little bit better now moving on to the the side of the car this is where it really looks like a baby s-class it has a very nice elegant proportion to it like a luxury car pretty much i feel like the bmws and the audis they try to be a little too sporty but this one pure luxury i really do like it but it still marries uh performance pretty pretty well together that's why i like mercedes-benz the best because they really do get get the right balance between the two now moving to the back of the car it's got pretty much the exact same shape of the taillights as the s-class and now that the the e-class and the and the c-class are now pretty much all shrunken down versions of the s-class they all have a not, very nice expensive look to it so even when you see a c-class you think it's like some crazy expensive car but this is relatively very attainable for what it is now it's come to the exhaust pipes here uh, a lot of people had to complain that these aren't like real or whatever they still look great and does the job fine so i don't really care it's got a nice little lip spoiler to it and like i said it is a formatic so it is all-wheel drive but it's a rear wheel drive platform so that's really nice now as for the interior of the mercedes-benz i'll start off with the seats here and the seats are of course very comfortable uh, they feel great they feel actually very supportive as well even though this isn't like an amg line or anything like that the seats are very like you know not super tightly bolstered but enough pretty much and the look of the the seat as well looks very nice very expensive i do enjoy it quite a lot the uh, the color choices as well is very nice uh, i really like the lighter colored interiors um only thing i don't like is the black colored steering wheel uh i that's probably only an option in like the S classes or something like that. But I mean, this is fine. I mean, you can live with that. The rest of it looks very nice. The dash and everything is white or like this beigeish color, and it matches very well with this brown. Now, as for the the steering wheel, the steering feel also feels very nice. Uh, it's got the similar uh, perforated leathers here on the side, like my Kia Stinger. So it's very nice to grip onto with two hands. Paddles feel nice and strong. Overall, it's a pretty decently meaty steering wheel so i do like it. it's got a, a bit of a sport nature to it no flat bottom but it does feel very nice got a little bit of metal brushed aluminum trim going on here very nice wrapped in leather of course so i do like the steering wheel a lot as well next i want to talk about this door the side door right here looks absolutely legendary i love this this is uh I'm not gonna lie to you guys i think the mercedes-benz interior is literally my most favorite interior pretty much in the entire business uh th this is very nice very elegant i don't really think you're gonna find this elsewhere i mean everything feels nice tight of course um these little buttons right here like these metal buttons they feel very nice and the way this operates your seat is just awesome because it's in the shape of a seat so that's very nice and you got like these metal buttons here for like raising and lowering the the windows so the window switches are nice and these things that control the mirrors all very nicely done everything just looks very nice this is one of those interiors where if someone just jumped in it for the first time they're going to be wowed by this and part of the reason why i like the mercedes-benz interior so much is because 
these interiors, you feel like you're sitting in something way more expensive than what you are pretty much. So basically what I'm saying is you're getting a lot more than what you pay for. Uh, I just don't feel like I get that when I sit in the other competitors, but this car, I do get that feeling. And that's just why I like this interior so much. Now, some people like think it's like tacky or something to have these like vents like this, but honestly, this, these look so nice. Unlike in my Kia Stinger, these are actually like metal and they, they're pretty nice. They have like the same clicking motions as well when you uh, put them in place. So these are very nicely done. The only like complaint I have is pretty much this stock right here, which I just drove a Tesla P100D uh, Model S and had the same one, uh, the same gear lever stock pretty much. They source it from Mercedes Benz. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that, but I mean, it cleans up a lot of space and that's why you get this beautiful sea of wood here. That's only possible because they put the gear stock up here. These buttons, uh, they, they look beautiful, but they could be a little bit better in terms of the, the feedback that they give you uh, like the touch points at least but I mean everything works everything is everything is pretty much beautiful here and the overall interior like the sol solidity of it is very high I mean like a German car pretty much like you would expect so I'm a huge fan of this uh, I think this only has a 7 inch screen but I don't really care about stuff like that so that's fine uh, at least it has a screen it's got some uh, it's got it's got the uh, the sunroof as well so that's nice no pano but still very nice to have it's a pretty big sunroof uh, as far as sunroofs go and you got your SOS right here in case you have a little emergency so yeah top quality interior going on here next up I want to give you guys a back seat review so if I climb in here It's not bad. It's pretty much set to my driving seat right now in the front, and I'm about five foot eleven. And the legroom is is not bad for this size car. It's pretty good. Uh, I am kind of sort of rubbing my shins are kind of rubbing up against this thing right here, this little pocket, I guess. But for the size, again, not bad. This is pretty much what you're going to get in the class. Uh, this is probably actually class leading because the other cars are pretty tiny in this class. Now you do get your own little HVAC system here in the back, which is great. And nice little dial right here, feels pretty good. A little storage space right here, which are little outlets and stuff like that. You still get the nice, beautifully appointed doors here on the sides for the, the rear passengers as well. Still got the metal button right here and the metal, uh, the door handle thing right here. So that's nice, I like that. In fact, this is the view you get, so this is pretty good. Uh, I do enjoy this quite a bit. And when you close the door in this car, it's very quiet in here. You do not hear anything. It's a, it's a true luxury car. Okay, next up, I just want to talk about the trunk. So when you open it up, it's automatic, just one press, and pretty cavernous. Uh, the only real car I can really compare this to is my old 2010 Acura TSX, and this seems to be about on par with that. I like the opening. It's very nice and wide, so I like that. And you got your little uh, storage pockets right here on the side, so that's pretty good. You got your mats here. So the, the size of the trunk should be fine for most people, especially for this size and class of vehicle. This is very good. So another very cool feature about the trunk that I forgot to mention is that if you just kick right underneath the star, of the Mercedes-Benz. Yeah, the thing actually opens up on its own. So if you have a bunch of groceries or something in your hand, you don't have to, you know, put them all down, you know, pick them all up and put them in there. Not not that whole fiasco. You can actually just, you know, kick underneath and that's very cool. So going on this drive with the, the C300 Formatic 2018, I'll tell you guys why I was so interested in this car. This is the pretty much like the entry level Mercedes. I guess technically the CLA is, but that's front wheel drive. But this is the, the rear wheel drive version. Well, this one's Formatic, but it's a rear wheel drive platform. And for what you're getting for this base model or like the entry level Mercedes, there's really nothing entry level about it. Like you get in this cabin, like, like I said before in the interior part of the review, People getting into this thing for the first time, they're gonna be absolutely wowed by it. The reason why I love Mercedes-Benz so much is because when you sit in this thing, you feel automatically, you just feel like a boss. You just feel like you're getting way more for the money than what you're paying for, honestly. This car's like 48, but that's only because it has a formatic. If you got this with the rear wheel drive, it'll be a lot less money, like 45 or something like that out the door. So that's really good for a car like this. So without further ado, I'll take it out for a drive now and see how it does on the road. All right, so now sitting off in the C300 Formatic, uh, my first impressions of it is that very smooth, very, uh, the steering is very like easy to operate. Now I'm just gonna punch it here a little bit and uh, 
that wasn't even foot to the floor and we pretty much effortlessly got up to the speed limit. So that's one of the things about Mercedes Benz. Well, pretty much really any luxury car, but definitely in a Mercedes Benz is that even though this is a four cylinder, this is a 241 horsepower, two liter inline four uh, with 273 foot pounds of torque. So their four cylinders are pretty much like six cylinders. And there's nothing like four cylinders. It's not raspy, it still sounds good. The engine is just like, it's an inline, so it's gonna be very smooth. There's no like typical like four cylinder, like, uh, you know, it feels kind of weird or whatever, but this is nice, smooth, almost like a V6 pretty much. Uh, and the performance is definitely like a V6 too. So I really like that. Talking about the steering for a little bit, it's kind of numb, but that's kind of what you get in an electric powered steering wheel anyway, and pretty much all cars are now electric, so that's pretty much what you're going to get. Steering in this car, like, it's not, like I said, it's still light, but it's just like, it's perfectly suited for on-road dynamics. So it's not artificially heavy like you might find in some other cars, and it's not like, you know, loosey-goosey, like all over the place like it is in some other cars. Like, this is still like, it's like a German car, you know what I mean? It's still like on point, it's still when you, when you're just driving it, it's super stable and it's still confidence inspiring going through some of these turns here brakes are pretty good in the cabin when you just shut all the doors in this car it's so quiet in here the only real noise is like when you're really on it like when you really step on it that's the only time where you actually hear something but like when you're just around town just driving it normally you do not hear anything like i said a real luxury car pretty much so this is why I really like the C C class Mercedes. I feel like you get a lot for your money here, uh, more so than you probably get with the other competitors. Uh, even though this might come out to be a little bit more money than the other competitors, maybe like the Japanese or even some other German cars, this is actually worth it for what you're getting—the isolation, the feeling of like you're just a complete boss in this car because it pretty much looks like a baby S class. And for people who don't really let's be honest like the normal people like they don't really know what the difference is between ce or s or whatever so when they just see you when they just see you roll up in something like this and everybody else driving honda civics people think you you made it in life pretty much we're kind of sitting in some traffic right now and uh this car it, it's just like you're so relaxed in it that you're not even really worried about that kind of stuff and that's kind of what i like about this car and like I said before, the seat's super comfortable, so that kind of adds to the comfortable ride of this car in general. I think this is probably the most comfortable car in its class. Uh, and decently powerful, I actually put my foot down all the way. Yeah, very good, actually, very smooth. Even though it's not like a rocket ship, it's just smooth, progressive, and no surprises really here. And if you had it like, with the 273 foot-pounds of torque, if you had this thing out on the highway, you're gonna have pretty much effortless passing power. The only real car I compared this to, like comfortably, was my 2010 Acura TSX, and this this one definitely does take off uh, noticeably better than that car. And that's partly because of when the turbos kick in. There's slight lag, but I mean, what are you gonna do? It's a turbo car, turbocharged car. I mean, all of the cars have lag. You pretty much can't really get rid of that. But when they do come on, you can already tell that this is just next level. Uh, in terms of power. Turn in is still sharp, it's still pointed, it's still poised and sharp. So I do enjoy that. It's not even like an AMG or even the sport trim level car. And this still drives very well. This car is equipped with the 18 inch wheel, so not quite the base model 17 inches. So it's a little bit better there. And going over some rough payment, like I said, very comfortable, very composed. It doesn't, you know, like you know, just dart over to the other direction just because it goes over a pothole, so it's fine. And the visibility in this car is insane. Like this mirror, this rear view mirror is just showing me pretty much everything. Like it's so easy to drive if you've never been in a car like this. And the size of it is smaller too, so that helps a lot. It's like a fishbowl in here, it's so good. So my closing thoughts on the C300. So this is really why I wanted to drive this car so badly was because this is the car that yeah, Mercedes makes a bunch of cool cars, like AMGs and stuff like that, but let's be honest, this is the one that you're going to be seeing most on the road. This is probably the one that you're going to consider buying. And is it a buy? I would say so. It does pretty much everything you'd ask for in a car. Nothing extra, and well, extra in terms of interior and stuff like that, but like the power is adequate and everything else in the interior is just next level. So for an entry level car, you're getting like above class levels of, I think pretty much the best interior in the class pretty much. So that's that's a huge selling point for me in this car. And obviously if you offer the AMG trim levels, you're gonna get the crazy sounds and all that. So very nice there. And uh, just a great daily dri driven car. So 
this is one that I highly suggest checking out. So if you're in the market for a small luxury sedan, I feel like this should definitely be on the list uh, to definitely uh, consider driving. And uh, if you are in the car market, I highly suggest hitting up uh, Mercedes-Benz of Durham in South Point. And thank you so much, guys, for uh, letting me uh, test drive this car. It's been a huge pleasure. And like I said before, literally everybody here is great to work with. So they've been super hospitable and super kind to me. So if you guys are in the car market, I highly suggest hitting them up. I'll leave all their information in the description box below. And that, this will be the end of the review. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Goodbye. Hi, I'm Allie from Exhaust Sports Auto. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to see more stylish whips, hot rods, and baller mobiles in every video.